Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to PPW High Voltage Ball Ball, alongside e. Julius Kuyper, Mr. Excellence, or whatever his name Mr. Exclusive, oh, Paul, for the love Scott. of uh, goodness Scott. gracious, well, can you, you get what? my name Everyone right? needs a moniker in this business. Yeah, <laughs> moniker? I was born with the name, man. There's only one me, and that's why I'm exclusive, buddy. Get it right. All right, Jeez. Mr. Exclusive, he's exclusive here to PPW High yeah, Voltage. Yeah, we're the only ones that'll hire him. That's why he's exclusive. <laughs> I'm counting my blessings Cost here. Cost you all every, a pretty penny, too. Every second, actually, he broke the bank with this contract he signed here but let's talk about speaking of a contract let's talk about the ppw golden ticket it's that time of year again ej four qualifying matches tonight and in august all four winners will meet in a fatal four-way for that coveted briefcase tell you what the golden ticket's at stake but charlie bucket he's nowhere to be found this isn't a chocolate factory this is a wrestling ring and it's all going down tonight Hey, that was actually kind of funny there, uh, EJ. I mean, I didn't think you uh, had a sense of humor other than your face. But, I mean, other than that, uh, the Golden Ticket obviously is what it is. I mean, it is a shot, an opportunity to become great in PPW. And whoever does win it is going to have to earn it. Our main event tonight, Bo Nakoda, the Chop Saw Outlaw, taking on the Bearded Menace Havoc in a qualifying match for the Golden Ticket. I can't wait. This is going to be an instant classic. The opening round of this tournament could be a main event anywhere in the country. Havoc has that style. It's kind of like the Japanese style mixed with the life of <laughs> recklessness of life on the streets. I say it all the time. Havoc can go and get down and dirty with the best of them. Elliot, Mr. Well, Excellence, you, whatever your name is over there. Man, Mr. Exclusive, this guy, I'm going to have to take this guy's What do you think Listen, of Bo Listen, you, you don't get a name like the Chop Saw Outlaw by going out here and shaking hands with these fans out here that literally look like they could I don't even want to go there. Yeah, but don't anyway, go there. The, 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 chop, the, the Chop Saw Outlaw is my pick to win the whole thing. He's going to win it all. He's going to be Mr. Golden Ticket by the end of the tournament. All Thank right, you. Mr. Exclusive is going with Bo Nakoda. I'm going with the Beer at Menace Havoc. It doesn't matter what EJ says. Let's go to commercial. We'll be right back on PPW High Voltage. You're watching High Voltage only on WYLM. It's Meat Sauce Sunday with former WWE superstar, the man himself, Virgil. And don't change the dial.
sound a lot better. I'm more enthusiastic. I'm definitely better looking. He ever There's more room. There's a lot more room. Yes. No ball to get his headset back on. Hey, Paul. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you, yeah. Tell that guy never to kick me out of my chair again. Who's that, the chubby guy? Yes, the guy that, that like, literally needs that, I don't know how he had that suit made for seriously. It's, it's like the size of a movie screen. It's Taylor made. Yeah, Taylor made all right. my circus. And listen, this, this isn't a soccer match here. I didn't come here to watch, you know, Barcelona versus Real Madrid, okay? Don't let, it, I, don't let the gimmick fool you. What's it gonna is here to wrestle. It's all a facade. Okay, well anyway, listen, it's one penalty kick away from it's advancing in this business. It, what business? This he, is a golden a professional wrestling. A golden Pitching. ticket qualifying match and look at, look at that. this. Beautiful trap there from our referee. I can see they you play know soccer? I love soccer. That explains a lot of things. Never mind. Um, this isn't a soccer match. Can we get it's this match underway? No, it's a football match. Whatever. I'm American, so it's soccer to me. So, anyway, thank you. Thank you, Samuel Adams. I toast you for that essay. Oh, it's an really our essay. <laughs> it's a lot I made it funny. Anyway. All right. Oh, and it's back. No. No. That, nobody does get it, apparently. I took my ball and took it home. This is a wrestling match. Not a soccer match, not the World Cup. This guy looks mad, like the guy Ryo, Mayo, Ryo, Ryo, yes, Ryo, okay. Um, Ryo made his debut two months ago against the youngest member of the Onawai family of the Samoan dynasty, Lance Onawai. He's back here to face Sam Adams in this golden ticket qualifying match. What a debut Rayo had. Absolutely fabulous match from the start. Controlled most of the matchup, but the young Samoan in the end got the victory here. Was there a doubt that the young Samoan was going to win? It's the greatest lineage in, in, in sports entertainment history. Absolutely, they are the first family of wrestling, but I'll tell you what, Rayo gave him all he could handle some two months ago here, right here in this PPW ring. Surprising everybody. Body. Shoulder tackle, Rayo off the ropes. Very nice leap from my son. Nice quick cover there by Ryan, but Sam Adams is still fresh. You're not, you're not going to get him pinned like that. What was that? Did he just say goal? I don't think that was a goal because he didn't get the victory. It was only like a one and a half down. So I think he's got his sports mixed up. Look how quick Rayo is. Martial arts style kicks. Spend a couple Across months in Japan here, EJ, not to step on you there. Great move from Rayo there. Pulled that one out of his arsenal. We haven't seen that before. No, and Re and actually just got word in my ear that Rayo is actually a studied the Kwan Ru Fuchi Do style of karate. That's where those kicks come from. That's not even a style. What's he talking about, EJ? You took karate. Qui -Gon King karate. I think he said Qui Gon Jinn. He's from Star Wars. Look it up. Kwan Ru Fuchi Do. I'm telling you right now. Is that like Do Re Fossil, Fossil Do Re Mi, whatever it goes? You know how the scale. I was very musically inclined, not you Look could tell. Look at that, Sam Adams sent to the outside with a powerful knee from Rayo. Getting the PPW Nation on their feet here. They hate They're Sam Adams down. here. They absolutely hate Sam Adams. How could you hate him? He's not like a great little man. Rayo, Rayo takes flight, suicide dive, beautifully done. And that might, he might have committed to it right, right back up. But I thought for sure he might have committed suicide on that dive because I didn't think he was going to connect with Sam Adams. I thought he was stepping out of the way, but rest assured, he connected. A lot of clearance there, a lot of clearance. A lot of times, high risk, high reward with a maneuver like that. It can change the outcome of a matchup just like that. It can also change the outcome of a career, too, you miss. Absolutely. Look at this, Rayo going up top. Sam Adams scouts and pulls away. Sam Adams, Rayo steps aside, goes through the German. Sam Adams holds on to the top rope. Oh, beautiful counter. The ref didn't see it. Counter. That was a beautiful counter. He I'll kicked him in the bread basket. I'll tell you what, I'll give him credit on that one. He knew the referee was turning his back. Sam Adams took full advantage of it and hit one right where the sun doesn't shine. As quick as Ray is on his feet, Sam Adams is quick witted. Quick in his mind. To think of that. I may not agree with it, but you guys are right. It wasn't in control of this match. Adams hooks the leg. 
two count. Ryo still very well conditioned. If he's definitely a soccer player, he's got to be well conditioned. Those are 90 minute matches, you know, against another team. So we know Ryo is definitely well conditioned and showing, putting on a good show here against Sam Adams here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. I'll tell you what, if Sam Adams put as much work into the ring as he does pandering to the crowd, this man will be world champion. Oh, oh my god, how about that? A beautiful, beautiful rolling leg kick, finding the mark on Ryo's chin. I agree with you there, uh, Mr. Bell. Uh, Paul, uh, Sam Adams needs to focus on the match ahead. These dim witted fans have no idea what they're talking about or even like, you know, what they're even probably looking at half the time. Don't worry about them. Worry about moving on to the golden ticket finals. I hate to agree with you there, Mr. Excellence, but I am gonna. One of these days you're gonna get my name right. One day. You might be retired by then, but you'll get my name probably. right. Probably. Oh, I only could get so lucky. Hey, look at this, Sam Adams with the sleeper hold. Good night, Irene. Shades of Adrian Adonis. You want to flash back to the 80s there, EJ. Long before your time, you weren't even a glimmer in the Duke's eye at that time. I'm not even going to comment on that. Very strange time it was in 1980s. It was 1989. Hey, hey, who said Look at this, Rayo fighting back to the vertical base. Fights out. Series of elbows softening Sam Adams up. Irish whip, hard into the corner. Oh, Rayo is hurt and he took an extra second there. Sam Adams was able to catch his breath. Beautiful tornado. It was going for a tornado. He got a tornado suplex in the center of the ring. That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Tornado TDT was going for turned it right into the suplex. Kind of an odd combination there, but very effective, EJ. Absolutely. Sam Adams will hit you from every corner. He'll hit you with everything he has. He might he may like to argue with the crowd, like some pander to them, but he's not full right now. Like I said, let's give credit He's to where it goes here. Two extraordinary athletes in the ring right now, what we're seeing here. As uh, Mr. Exclusive, I got it right, That's right, said earlier, both men in tremendous shape. Soccer players, Sam Adams in tremendous shape, tough as they come. Well, that's why this is Pennsylvania's premier wrestling. We only get the premier athletes. Okay, we don't want scrubs off the street, although it's EJ would be in the ring. Well, apparently, this might be the... Apparently we don't have the same standard for our commentary team. No, we don't have any standard for commentary. Hey, give me a mic, we'll stick anything in front of you here. But once I have, to agree, with, here. I have to agree with Mr. Exclusive, EJ's related to me, he has no choice. Sorry to hear that. That's your loss, not mine. I'm here to do one uh, job. I'll remember that for cleanup, Paul Brown. You really look like, you dress like a high school janitor too. Man. It's the drunk gym teacher, get it right. The gym teacher, all right. Yeah. I'm I'm on leave, though. The game of dodgeball got a little out of hand. Can you dodge a wrench? There are a lot of things flying through your hand. It's a bold strategy. All right, here we go here. Rayo and Sam Adams exchanging he's pissing, left and right here. Like, I should tell you, he's hit him with a forearm. Rayo back in this one, goes for the kick. Misses wildly, Sam Adams. No, couldn't get it. Rayo right back in it. Series of kicks, knee to the face. Sam Adams up against the ropes. Down he goes. That might have knocked out Sam Adams on his feet. Ryo with those theory. I mean, just a series of kicks. Now went to the into the back of the head, knocking Sam Adams flat on the mat on his face. Standing in security by Rayo, is just Rayo here throwing the circles, throwing the kitchen sink at him. Pretty much everything but that. He might even be throwing chopsticks pretty soon. He just reminds me of some guy from Mortal Kombat. But a beautiful oh jumping God. tornado DDT. That's, that's, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. One, two. And this ref slower than molasses in January, not counting to the three. Ryo about as upset as a one-legged wagers at the IHOP, thinking he had a three. But he didn't. Two and 15 sixteenths. Match still continues. Sam Adams still in it. Ryo's going to have to pull out some more offensive maneuvers to get the job done tonight. Pulling out the penalty card. You really do no soccer. I'm impressed. I thought that was the red card like at the Brazilian restaurant. You just keep bringing more food until you show red. And they stop. Oh, Sam Adams. Perhaps feigning injury a little bit. This time. Snaps the neck of he was Rayo. trying. He was trying for actually a, a, a snapmare DDT and he missed by a mile. It's countered by Ryo. Ryo also went from him with a backstabber. So much going on here. Sam Adams hit him with a backstabber. One, two. Feet on the, feet on the ropes. You got to 
be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Once again, a referee in PPW has screwed up a finish here. His feet were clearly on the ropes there. Now that's a ref with integrity, counting the three, doing his job. Sam Adams moving on, winning cleanly. Sam Adams with a clean victory there over Ryo. What is he talking about? Yeah. Last thing this guy needs is a microphone. Why'd well, you give it to him? Sam Adams saying he's going to get the golden ticket and he's going to be the next world champion at BPW. I'll tell you what. With
action here. Ariel Mix, he answered your prayers. Ryan Riggs joining us here on commentary against the unbreakable box. Sammy Pandora here. Sammy is really upset. She was put out of action last month by Ariel and then she had to take a month off nursing that injured last back. Excuse me, a brutal attack. An Ariel and some two months ago here. I'll turn the heat up a little bit more. Ryan Race flanked to your immediate right. It doesn't get any hotter than that. God. Be nice to me, AJ. I signed your paycheck. His name's EJ, not AJ. AJ, EJ, thank Some you. Some people were actually uh, cheering for you, Ryan Race, when you came out. Yeah, that ended in a hurry. It should, I'm a legend. And then you opened your mouth. Ah, here we go. Oh, oh. best press. Ground and pound right out of the gate. Sammy Pandora's out for blood. Again, she's all over Ariel Nix. Tell you what, Sammy mounting her like Ryan Race on a stake. Tenderloin, Paul, tenderloin. Ariella trying to get your, catch her wits there. She's looking for a timeout here. Sammy has none of that. Sammy sporting some new, new ring gear here, Ryan Race. Looking good. Uh, she had that two months ago, Paul. I don't know where you were. I don't pay attention usually, but I will here tonight. Sammy's inviting her back into the ring. Ariel, oh, here she goes. Her time. Here we go, the game of cat and mouse around the Mulberry Bush. This is exactly what Ariel and Nick's wanted. <laughs> Referee cue ball Carmichael oh. out there, right into that steel girder, right in front of Tom Colley there, all the way from California. Came to watch this show here for PPW High Voltage. Tom getting a bird's eye view over there. I'll tell you what. Ariel and Nix tried to get away from Sam Pandora to lure her into a little bit of a trap there, and that backfired big time. Both women now back in the ring. Cue ball Carmichael here breaking up the count here. Ariella trying to get her wits here, trying to get back to that vertical base here. Sammy keeps breaking up the count here. Greg's counting over there. Look at Ariel Nix. Look at the cockiness in her as she's just mocking him. She's being smart, Paul. She's being smart. I don't know if you see in attendance over there, Ryan Race. Uh, Sammy's number one fan, Amanda's there at ringside. She's over on uh, your immediate right. Yeah, she hasn't shut up since the show started. That's all right. Boisterous crowd here tonight. Definitely a nice crowd here. Here to see their favorite PBW superstars. Here to see some legends from ECW. I'm not that legendary. Don't give me that. Here to see some lovely female competition. Ariel and Nix in control of this one, taking it to Sam Pandora. Only one count there. She went for a quick cover. I think more of like the, uh, trying to surprise him there. Hey, where's Freddy? Probably somewhere near the concession stand. I don't know. It's my turn to watch her. Ariel has locked in kind of a submission hold there, EJ. Has Sammy on the ground there. Looking to get that extra leverage there. Maybe Kevin will tap out. Wearing her down. Pinpointing her body part. Going to work here. Ariel and Nix. She's a master. As mean as she is beautiful. She is a master of the submission techniques. But Sammy Pandora with that ring presence has got herself over to the ropes. And she's going to have to break the hold. Now, now Ariel and Nix blatantly just ripping at that arm. Cue ball, Carmichael had a three count there. Exactly like I said, picks a body part and goes to work. She is absolutely ruthless. Shot to the bread basket there, shot to the pack. Oh, Chris doesn't want to see these tactics from Ariel and Nix here, trying to keep Sam Pandora on the rope, using them to her easy advantage. And I'll tell you what. Now she goes to work on the injured arm. Not to cut you off, EJ, but you talk about her ring condition there. She's really, really, really working on her arm. She's picked the body part out, and she's working it, working it. She's concentrating on that arm on Sammy Pandora. It may not be the flashiest moves, but it is effective. Deep. 
continues to wear down Sammy Pandora. Pandora struggling with everything she has. The PPW Nation trying to will her back to her feet. Oh man, Ariel Nix is chopping down on the back here. Sammy oh, holds on. Oh, German suplex. Wow. That was right from Germany there. Landed right on her head there. Ariella trying to shake the cobwebs. I can see the look in her eyes. The lights are on, but no one's home, EJ. She's flat on her back. Sammy's flat on her back here. Referee starting to count here. I think, I don't know, Greg will never get to 10, you think? Only learned nine, and he dropped out of Canada. That's those PCWA refs there, Ryan Race. Yeah, I said it all the time. Byproduct of the PCWA training. Hey, hey, hey. Sammy trying to fire up here. Oh! Sat down, nobody home. Kicked it right to the side of the cranium. That is it. Point that is three. it. That is it. Wow. I'll tell you what, I'm surprised Sammy kicked out there. She has to be stays. She has to be concussed. Point blank range, Paul, Paul Bow. Don't you look at me and say Paul Bow. That is an insult. I'll tell Pandora. you what, Ariella Nix has that cross arm breaker. Cross arm breaker on right there. Sammy Pandora definitely will not be able to take much more of this. I mean, that, your arm is not meant to bent like that, be bent like that. She has it locked in deep here. She has nowhere to go. She definitely has nowhere to go. Sammy has her legs locked here trying to get. Oh, look, look at this. Rolls her up. Nope. That was a good counter by Sammy. Absolutely simple but effective. Broke the hold. Knee to the face. Ariel Nix doesn't know what hit her. Plants her. There well, it is, about Pandora's submission. There it is, Pandora's box. Talk She's about got submission. it locked in. She's going to have to tap her. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Guy in the 
his company, and he won that golden ticket three days more than anybody. Well, he's gonna get to Bo Nakoda to do it. Gee, where have I seen that before? Leaving a towel in the entrance. I don't know. Well, Havoc better wreak some havoc tonight on Bonico if he wants to uh, go to that fatal four-way to determine the Golden Ticket champion. And Bonico to waste no time. Bonacota going, taking the fight to Havoc outside the ring. This one's on its way already. Havoc didn't even make it down the aisle. This is our main event, PPW High Voltage main event here tonight. WYLN, what a better way to spend your Sunday nights with Paul Bo, Mr. Exclusive, and E. Julius Kuyper here sitting ringside. Oh. First round action here in the Golden Ticket uh, fine, uh, tournament here, excuse me. Havoc taking on the Chopsaw Outlaw. Bo Nakoda, it doesn't get any tougher than these two gentlemen. Very well put there, Paul Bo. Havoc has this crowd on their feet here. Bonacota going for a cheap shot on the outside. Didn't even phase Havoc, but I'll tell you what, that forearm definitely phased Bonacota. But I'll tell you what, uh, that early showboat. Listen to that. The crowd guys. wants to see that. Oh, oh, how is that not a DQ? Right across the back of the... How is that not a DQ, I ref? guess the referee had the blind eye there as usual. He's blind as a bat. I'll tell you what, it's up to the ref's discretion. This is an important match. Oh, no, 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 wants, no, no. Nobody no. wants to see it end in a DQ. Hogwash. It's a qualifying match. It's you got to play by the I don't care how important it is. You need to be fair. What are you talking the about the unbiased? Been, it's up to the ref's discretion. Give the ref's discretion. Tell you what, Havoc's going to lay the hammer down right now. Maybe it was to get even for the Chief before the bell. Now we're on even playing field. No, we're not because now he's got close fist to the face. Ref with a slow count. This is a 19. Can the ref even count the four? What kind of education does this dude get? He's Aussie. You guys in these weird haircuts, too. That ref got a, what kind of a haircut does that ref have? Seriously. Back in Australia, those haircuts are big. I've seen kangaroos. Well, go back to Australia. Don't be Here, jealous. Of what? Because you're a I am aerodynamically efficient, all right? with those snap suplexes holding on. And he's on. holding on to him. Look at that. Look at the display of strength there by the bearded menace Havoc. Bo Nakoda straight up in the air. Oh my God. I mean, he was up there a long time. That blood rushing in the head of Bo Nakoda. That's going to daze him. He might be dizzy when he does get back up after a kick out at two. Tell you what, Havoc. We've seen Havoc wrestle the best that's been put in front of him. We've seen him wrestle Pal Venus. We've seen him wrestle off a junior. We've seen him wrestle the best. The Rhino. Rhino, the best the independent scene has to offer. Excuse me, he did not wrestle Valvinus. My mistake, it was Rhino. Same show, though. Thank you for correcting me. Yeah, get your facts We've seen him go for the PBW Heavyweight Championship. Did he, he win? come up just inches short, and now he is he back went on the toe to toe That's with what David your girlfriend Star. sends a lot, too. Toe to toe with David Starr. Listen, we don't care who he went. That's all in the past. You gotta focus on the present. Focus on the now. Well, what you have I'm both in the present coach. here is Havoc is cleaning the ring with the chop saw outlaw. And if you want to focus on the future Havoc, you gotta beat Bonacota and advance in the golden ticket final for the four-way next month, August 20th. There's been three guys already, and I'm not gonna say their names, depending on how the episodes air, but there are three people in the golden ticket uh, finals for next month, and we are waiting no the spoilers, No spoilers. Nope. You want, to, you want to know spoilers? Watch the show. Absolutely. Look at Havoc. Stop. He's panning in the crowd. Hey, what is it? Getting this crowd pumped up. He's about as pumped up as a flat tire. <laughs> By the time he figures out what he wants to do with Bo Nakoda, Bo's going to have a nice amount of offense and, and reverse it and go back on the onslaught that is Havoc. And there Took it too is. much time. See? What I tell you? What did I tell you? Dakota puts Havoc down to the canvas there. Beautifully executed by the Chopsaw Outlaw, the pride and joy of Perry County, Pennsylvania. I wouldn't brag about that. I went to college with a lot of people from Perry County. There, I saw people there that could be their own dad. Okay? Uh, I'll tell you what, Bo Nakoda races deer in the offseason. I'm not sure if you know about that. What does he He's race? actually a champion deer racer. What does he race? Quarter midgets? White tails. Sure. Bucks. I think he beat Bambi once. Right, okay. And the buck stops here in Hazleton, PA, I'll tell you that. Oh, That's a cash map. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Nakota outside showing a vicious side of him there. Havoc, it doesn't get any meaner than that. Trying to shake it off, the cracks to the back. I've seen meaner. Man, the hardest part of the ring there, EJ. You know all about that. Oh, Nakota giving Havoc the tour of the outside there. Just ramming that lower rum lumbar. But see, you can't. If what, what happens, Mr. Bo, if both these gentlemen get counted out, if it's a double count out, what happens? Do you only have three then? Is it going to be a triple threat match for the golden ticket? We'll what have, What is it? We'll would have to ask the commissioner about that. I do not know the rules. I well, just I, announced them. Just Perhaps announced the match will be restarted. Would you like me to find out? That's why I'm here. Yeah, why, why do you go for a Hold long on. walk I'm on go a walk. short pier? Go I'm ahead. A, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it. I'm going to send it. Send him out, EJ. Send him out to get his I'm going to send, send a text message. Uh, text message. And yeah. Oh. Don't worry about it. Listen, that's how I get my information. Send a text message over. Just because Ryan you Ryan. guys still use two tin cans and a string, all right? Don't worry about it. Hey, I get hey, we're from parties where we yell to each other. Yeah, okay? we, we don't use the tin cans. We don't need tin cans. Our mouths are big enough. Suplex from Bo Nakoda. Still in control of this one into the rear chin lock. And Bo's putting all his weight, all 218 pounds, right down on Havoc's neck, wearing him to the ground. It's a move, you're not gonna get him submit on this, but it could wear you down very easily. All 218 pounds right across that neck region there. Bo's cinching up real tight, EJ. That's, that's smart, that's smart there on the, on the move of Bo Nakoda, chopping off the air supply to Havoc. Almost, like I said, it's like a chin lock because he's not choking him. So it's almost like a modified sleeper there in the middle of the ring, too. Havoc's got nowhere to go. He can't get to the ropes. He's either going night-night or he's going to get a surge of adrenaline from these idiot fans. Well, hopefully he gets a surge Perhaps of adrenaline. That's two here. Look at Bo Nakoda. Look at that oh, look on his face. Oh, he catches his hand. He catches his own hand. He probably, uh, that's, probably, that's probably pretty good because I didn't think he could catch a cold. Havoc. In the desert. Fight him back. Headbutts. Off the ropes, builds momentum though, runs right into the knee from the chop saw outlaw, side runs the leg sweep. Bo Nakota stays on top in this matchup, only a two count. Listen to this crowd, they are absolutely electrified. They are firmly behind the barrier that man is having. He has clawed his way up from the bottom. He wants that golden ticket. But not enough. Beautiful counter there by Bonacota and a running drop kick to the side of the temple there by Bonacota that takes down Havoc. And I'll tell you what, Bonacota's just setting him up. He's letting Havoc think he's got the offense. A nice springboard plancha onto the chest. One, two, and another near fall there. Ref saying two, I don't know, I think his hands slip, he's sweating so much. He's sweating like a Only fat a chick on a, a Jenny Craig diet. Gonna take more than that. Keep the beard of menace. Have it down. Bo Nakoda, though, he has found the weakness in Havoc's defense. Oh! Havoc holds on just when you think he's down. Comes out of nowhere, Bo Nakoda. Look at that spinning heel kick out of nowhere. Is there anything that Havoc can't, is there any position that Havoc can't pull a devastating attack? I'll tell you what, 255 pounds comes flying through the air. For a big man, the guy can move. You gotta give credit where credit is due, EJ. And like you said, we've seen him pull moves. I've seen him do a moonsault once. I've seen him eat a moon pie. That's, that's about all I've seen him do. So, 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 so far, I mean, I gotta give Havoc credit. Like you're absolutely right. I mean, for a 255-pound man, he can fly like a cruiserweight. He can punch like a heavyweight. I mean, he can literally almost virtually do it all, but can he win this match? I don't think so. My money is still on Bonacota, the chop saw outlaw from Perry County, to win this match and win it all. I always say the most the most versatile that you has to be having. Just like this little exclusive set over there. He can roll like a cruiserweight, he can get down and dirty, he can do it all. Go ahead, say it. You know you want to win. Hold on, have it. Sends Bo Nakoda to the corner. Nakoda not in a good position. Havoc has him softened up. No, and desperation elbow out of the corner. Catches the leg. Havoc, beautiful. Beautiful front face in Zagura. That The toe caught Bo Nakoda right in the beard. Sending him back. 
both these men, both these men, I mean, how much gas do they have left in the tank? I don't even know. I mean, I'm sweating over here just calling this match. I gotta loosen up the tie. I'm gonna have to unbutton a button or two on my shirt. It's, we still have one match left. We still have the OG Click versus the ECW Originals yet to call. And now Bone Dakota in a tree of woe. He's telling the ref, get me out of here, but the ref just standing there like a doofus. I can't do nothing. I haven't got a measure. Here comes a cannonball. Oh, more like a wrecking ball. Has right it. into that exposed midsection, one of the most sensitive parts of the body. Two. No, he caught the, the rope. The, the ring awareness. Rib cage. Veteran ring awareness by Bo Nakoda. This isn't his first rodeo here. He reached up and grabbed that rope. He knew he was close. He's in a lot of trouble here. He knows the he's in a lot is of trouble. He's right out of him from that cannonball. He needs to think of something and something quick, or he's going to be just another victim of the Beard of Menace Havoc. I expected Havoc's beard to be bigger, though. It's not really that much of a menace. I mean, Bo Nakoda's beard is more impressive. Look at this. Havoc goes for the power bomb. Bo Nakoda counters with a nerve hole there. That was more like a code breaker finisher, but all right. Ooh, the fisherman suplex. The fish hook suplex. One, two. No! Come on, ref. Come on. He had him dead to rights right there with that fish hook suplex. And I'll tell you, ref saying to I don't think the ref can count to three. Get some hooked on phonics. It worked for EJ over here. Phonics? That's numbers. Well, yeah. You don't even know what you're talking three. about. Counting to three is numbers. Hooked on phonics. What number? Duh. Phonics is letters. Same thing. It, te it, teaches you every, it, te it teaches you everything. I think you have one exclusive brain cell. Hey, that one is definitely outsmarting you. EJ is a temple graduate, I must say. Look at that! Stop, stop, stop. Havoc goes down low. Sit up, power bomb! The ref was the legs too. and the arms at it. The ref was, the ref, he was, the ref was out of position. You know, it was a pinning predicament. He had to think about it for a second. Ref was very much out of position. I'm, I'm pretty Bo sure even sleep requires too much thought for this referee. Bo Nakoda just was kind of on a goofy angle too. I think just instant got him out of there. He couldn't keep his shoulders down on the mat. Havoc, both men are definitely, this match is nearing probably the 12 minute mark here. And both men are definitely exhausted. You can see, this is hot in this gymnasium tonight here. I'm dying wearing a coat here. Certain tie here, it's probably 90 degrees in here. And it's definitely affecting these athletes here in the ring. It absolutely is because, you know, Oh, look at that, the low blow while the ref was distracted. And another, and another back, backbreaker, double knees to the back, like a backbreaker, two. Two. No! Oh, he almost close. That was close, his shoulders were up. You tell him, Bo, you tell him. This ref, I don't think, can count to three. I'm pretty darn sure of that. Because, I mean, he's proving it right now, counting like two and then stopping every time Bo Nakoda has a pinning, pinning predicament in the middle of the ring. Bo Nakoda. Setting him up. Definitely setting him up. Probably one of his patented finishers. Bo control this one. Havoc in the first time he's been in a vulnerable position. Almost all mad. Sidesteps Bo Nakoda. I'm amazed Bo was able to stop himself with all that momentum. Miss, misses the lariat. And a oh, spin! He, he, didn't he, he didn't miss there! He didn't miss there! Pulls him up. Three. And he got it through. I think he oh, had the trucks. I'm pretty sure Havoc had the trucks though. Can we get a replay? I'm pretty sure he hooked the tights. A cheap hook, I'm pretty sure Havoc had the tights on that one. Yeah.